welcome to the update. I'm Susie Thompson. Australian basketball legend Andrew Bogut claims AFL players have offered him drugs. Bogut has hit out of the AFL's drug code and says the league knew it had an issue with guys using drugs, suggesting injuries were faked to avoid testing. Bogut says the fact it's been kept under wraps for so long shows how far the AFL tentacles can reach. He says the AFL should clean up its own league before preaching on other social issues. At least nine people are dead and over 900 others injured after a 7 4 magnitude quake hit Taiwan. There have been 29 aftershocks greater than a magnitude of 4.0 near the epicentre of the quake so far. Two weather systems will merge near southeast Queensland, bringing heavy storms to New South Wales. The northern part of New South Wales can expect rainfalls in excess of 100 millimetres with a risk of flash flooding. Senior meteorologist Dean Narimal says the New South Wales central coast and Sydney can expect a drenching tomorrow. Much of New South Wales, including Sydney, looking at 50 to 100 millimetres We could even see isolated falls in excess of 150 as well, particularly on Friday and into Saturday. Australians could end up paying near record amounts of tax for this financial year. At least 125 different taxes are charged by local, state and federal governments. Centre for Independent Studies Senior Fellow Robert Carling says all levels of government should consider cutting their spending to ease the burden on taxpayers. If government expenditure keeps going up, as it has trended up over the long term, if that continues, then there's really no prospect of reducing the overall tax burden. And a world first for a major stadium at tonight's AFL clash between the Crows and Melbourne in Adelaide. Adelaide Oval patrons will be able to pay for their food and drink with cryptocurrency. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, round five of the NRL kicks off tonight with the Storm hosting the Broncos. While in AFL, Adelaide's made five changes for tonight's opening gather round clash against Melbourne. Demons defender Stephen May has been named to return from a rib injury. Marty Hoare is the only omission from the Demons with a fractured thumb. And moves are underway to try and save the Melbourne Rebels rugby union team. The Herald Sun reports former Qantas chair Lee Clifford is leading the push to move the Melbourne Rebels to a new base in the western suburbs. He claims to have raised up to $30 million to resurrect the club, which has accumulated debts of around $22 million. In entertainment news, Rebel Wilson's memoir has quietly been pulled from shelves in Australia and been made unavailable online. The actress slammed Sasha Baron Cohen in a tell-all book over his alleged conduct during filming of the 2016 film Grimsby. And the Adelaide Crows have revealed their number one ticket holder. Singer Guy Sebastian says it's an incredible honour and privilege for him after growing up playing for footy and loving the crows through the good and the bad. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.